Hi guys, this is Rashid and you're watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to show you one of the robot navigation algorithm that I've been working on. So this algorithm is using only PL LiDAR and no view odometry and no any other sensor source and also not going to use the SLAM technique. If you're ready, let's get started. In some of robot applications which require the robot to navigate in just a straight line path, you will see those environments such as greenhouse, so we just need a bot to go survey the plants and count the quantity of fruits, measuring temperatures and so on, or in some place like department store where there are shelves lining up, or like a warehouse. This kind of place are not complex environment and pretty much like a hallway path. So there is not much features for SLAM to do the mapping and in worst case where the floor is kind of rough and slippery, the wheel's odometry is not reliable. So my robot's algorithm here is for a robot which required inexpensive computation using only one LiDAR and for simplicity. So sometimes I ask myself that do we need to know the robot current position in real time? And I could say no, we don't need to know that, but we need to sense the environment features in real time. So this idea is working in some particular case and is simpler rather than slam. So my idea is the robot just need to navigate at the middle of the lane at all the time. And if obstacle appears, then just simply stop. And it could be repeatable like mission. So here this is a YD LiDAR TT30 and the axis corresponding to the sensor. So from raw scan topic, we can get the range array with the length of 2019 and the angle increment, angle minimum, and angle maximum. So we can create an angle array according to that by using NumPy a range. So from polar coordinates as R and theta, we can convert to Cartesian coordinates as X and Y by this equation. So what we really want to do is to plot this point into the image so we can use the image processing to find some features from laser scan. We can start with a blank image with constant frame width and height and we define how much this frame can represent in real width and real height in meters so we limit what the robot can see and we just want to convert the xy in meters into pxpy in pixels. So we can use a linear mapping function if we know the min and max of input and output. So once there is new input coming, we can calculate the new output. For example, if we have a frame width height of 300 pixels, and this frame can represent the area of 2 meters by 2 meters, so from previous slide, if we know x as 0.5 and y as 1 meters, we can convert this point to pixels. And that will give you the px as 0 and py as 75 pixels. Then if we plot this point into the blank image, it looks correct. So on your robot, you will have the LiDAR attached on it like this. And the laser scan will give you the many many points surrounding it. So here are the workflow that we should do. So once we get the range and angle in array, we can convert it to X and Y. And after that, we can convert it to PX and PY as I just showed to you. Then we can do a bit wise to change the pixel coordinate to black color. Then we can use OpenCV to do image processing. After that, we just display the image. And lastly, we should clear all the points out to make it blank image again. So on the image processing step, we can use Hulk transform for line detection and we can draw something in the image or apply some region of interest. So first we will copy the blank image to process image and convert it to the grayscale. After that, we apply candy edge detector and Hulk lines P. And I prefer to rearrange the output lines into the left and right lines array and I'm going to select the best candidate line of each size and draw it back to the blank image. After we got a line of the left and right walls, we need to average those lines to get the middle line as shown as the red line, and that should represent the middle path which is our target path. So our goal is we want the robot heading which is black line to lean to the red line as close as possible which means the robot will be at the middle of this hallway all the times. 
Then I made the zone to vary the robot steering according to where the red dot is falling on. In this case, the red dot is more on the left side, which means the robot is heading much on the right. So at some moment, the bot will hit the right wall soon. So we need to bring the bot back to middle by steering it to the left side. So when the red dot is fall in this zone, we need an extreme steering to the left. So we need to slow down the speed by adjusting this throttle and steer much to the left, otherwise it will hit the wall on the right. Similarly with this side, if the red dot is falling in this zone, it needs to adjust itself back by steering to the right. And moreover, if the red dot is far away on this zone, it has to extremely steer to the right, otherwise it will hit the left wall soon. So when the bot adjusts itself properly, the black and the red should be close as possible in this dead band zone, so the bot will remain constant steering and throttle. The robot candidate for today is this small UGV with AT Cars wheel system. If you don't know what is the AT Cars wheel system, I will put the link of it. On top of this, here is the YD LiDAR TT30. Inside of this controller box, we will see just a Nano 2GB with the JMO app shield. So if you don't know what is the JMO app, please go back on my previous video. And this is Futaba RC receiver to let us control the robot in manual and switch to auto mode easily. Next to it is the 5V DC-DC regulator and our main power is 6 cell LiPo battery and a Wi-Fi router for debugging. In front of the robot, there is a webcam for live streaming and one at the back side for the operator to observe how the robot moving. And also there is temperature and humidity sensor just to display the data but not for navigation. So this is the robot console to make it goes forward and backward or stop. So I can make it goes forward by pressing this green button here. So you can see on the obvious image box here that the robot is using an algorithm that I explained to you to navigate in this narrow area, which looks like a hallway path. So as I mentioned that the goal of this navigation is to let the robot stay on the middle way as much as possible. So even one side is gone, he will still keep distance from the other side left. And not only just a solid wall that this idea can be used, but for an uncertain wall like this kind of cage or poles, this algorithm also works. Lastly, we were testing this outside to make sure the sunlight will not affect the LiDAR and also we can try experiment with many things.
And that is for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. This robot navigation is kind of simple because sometimes we don't need to use SLAM, which requires expensive computation. So we can just combine the LiDAR laser scan with the OpenCV as I just showed to you. And I think we can do a lot of cool stuff with this idea. So for advanced idea, we could try to use deep neural network like semantic segmentation to recognize the features like the shapes or lines or the patterns that we want. But that is for the next challenge and if you guys have any idea please let me know so if you like this kind of video please give me a like button and please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and see you soon